Hey everybody, I'm meteorologist Haley LaPointe. I'm joining you for a special Cook's Corner here. I'm joined by Laura Brown from the New England Biscuit Company in Portsmouth. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me back. So you have something very unique today as the ingredient for one of your biscuits. So can you tell me a little bit about that? I do. We are cooking with pine needles today. Now mm -hmm. pine needles are edible. Not everything green in the forest is edible, so if you are interested in doing this recipe, please check to make sure that what you are plucking and harvesting is you edible. You don't want the wrong thing from your backyard, so you be don't. sure to, to, to just double check it. This first. is eastern white pine that we are using today, and everybody has these in their backyard or in their neighbor's backyard, so this is a very easily recognizable tree. Mm -hmm. um, and so we're going to be using that in the recipe today. So we're starting with our standard recipe which uses the butter, sugar, flour, and salt. The recipe will be up on the on my website yep. at the end of the conclusion of the show. Great. Um, and you want to do a normal creaming method, so you cream the butter and the sugar together. Mm -hmm. Add in the pine needles, which you're going to chop very okay. finely, and the orange zest into the flour, and then mix the flour into the butter and sugar, because that way they're, they're wet and will make sure that it's all evenly distributed. Kind of like absorbs into it. Exactly. So does, exactly. This, does this have an, an aroma to it? Of well, I'm going to show you here. Well, so this one smells like orange. A couple <laughs> <laughs> but that's good too. <laughs> so a couple of tips about plucking the, the needles off of the branch. You want to pull in the direction of the branch. So if you can see here, pull in the direction like this. Do not grab it and pull it back yeah. like this because you, okay. you run the risk of getting some of the bark in here. Uh, yeah. And that's actually where most of the, the smell is. Now, for all of us who have ever been in a room where an evergreen has been, perhaps at the end of the Christmas. year for a celebration, yeah. you know what that aroma is like. Yeah. Okay, so this is finely ground up, the freshly ground up pine needles. Go one. ahead and smell that. Mm. It's very, very mild. Very fresh. Very fresh, almost But not dill. heavy. Yes, yes. There's a very bit of a dill similar note dill. and almost a citrus note in there. Mm. So it's very, very light, both in flavor and in aroma. So it's yeah. not like a Christmas tree. It's not like you're eating a, a Christmas tree biscuit here. You're yeah. not. No, you're not. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> when, when you get the dough all mixed up, this is what I call shaggy. When it starts looking like this, kind of shaggy, this is when you know the butter has all been incorporated into the flour and you're able to to pour it out and knead it at this point. So you're going to knead it. We have a sheet of it here that's already kneaded. And I just did some very rustic cutting with these. Um, uh, this is a pizza cutter that you can use. And if you have better vision and higher accuracy than I do, then you're going to do a much better job than I am and cutting up the biscuits like this. And then you want to throw it, them. throw it in the oven. 325 degrees, about 20 minutes to 30 minutes, something like okay. that. And then you come out with a biscuit. And I would like to invite you right. to yeah, have I'm one. Take a little bite. Here we go. Absolutely. See what you think. Mm. It's a very mild flavor. It's delicious. Yes. Well, you can get more information and the recipe by logging on to our website, WMUR.com.